amazing season this year and uh, it was a red season for us. It was a red season of course because uh, you you has been the winner team in many aspects and I think what the club did this year has been a terrific job. I think that uh, on the court, off the court, they, you did a great job and I think that all the awards that the club received this year has been deserved, no doubts about this. The fact that uh, Olympiacos was not one of the favorite teams in the beginning of the previous season um, and they, they won the, the champion like this, it's an example for the other teams how to, to invest and how to work. Exactly, that's why I think that is the, the reason why it has been awarded for the best executives of the year because it's a lesson that not, not always budget is enough to win titles. Sometimes it's determination to have a strategic decision, to work hard, to, to believe on, on what you are doing. And this, I think, is the, the, the great lesson that the, the Olympiacos has sent to all the teams, the rest of the team this year. I think it's very good for everyone. And uh, what's new for the next season? What can we expect from you for Euroleague? Well, we are always uh, trying to improve the league, thanks to the cooperation we have with the clubs. And I think the, the, the most important changes for next year, which are the, the increase of the number of games in the top 16, allowing the teams to the best teams play more games among them, that will be definitely an, a, a, group, a step forward for our fans. Moving to Friday, it's another another big decision for us because the families will have much more easy to come to see our games with the kids, no schools the next day. So I think that uh, will be will be very interesting to see how the fund reacts. But we are confident that both decisions will be very successful. Thank you very much. Welcome.